हाय एवरीवन दिस इज कोच हरितोष श्रीवास्तव एंड दिस इज नॉट अ यूजुअल वीडियो जो मैं हमेशा करता रहता हूँ ये वीडियो थोड़ा अलग है बिकॉज आई एम प्रॉब्ली गोइंग टू डू मोर ऑफ अ रिएक्शन वीडियो एंड व्हाट इज दिस ऑल अबाउट सो बेसिकली टोस्ट मास्टर्स इंटरनेशनल अगर आपको पता है तो पूरे दुनिया में टोस्ट मास्टर इंटरनेशनल के क्लब हैं एंड दे समथिंग स्पेशल दैट हैपन्स एंड दैट इज कॉल्ड अ कॉन्टेस्ट विच इज़ कॉल्ड इंटरनेशनल स्पीच कॉन्टेस्ट और हर साल उसमें फोर्टी थाउजेंड फिफ्टी थाउजेंड लोग पार्टिसिपेट करते हैं एंड एट द एंड ऑफ इट दे हैव दिस इंटरनेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस एंड उस कॉन्फ्रेंस के एंड में देर इज वन वर्ल्ड चैम्पियन ऑफ पब्लिक स्पीकिंग और दैट कॉन्फ्रेंस वॉज लास्ट वीक एंड एंड देर इज़ अ न्यू वर्ल्ड चैम्पियन ऑफ पब्लिक स्पीकिंग सो आई थॉट इस वीडियो में मैं आपको अपने व्यूज बताने वाला हूँ हाउ डिड आई फील्ड after watching the video and what could have been the reason she yes it is a it is a lady she won the world championship so let me share the screen and let's go through this amazing amazing championship speech so let's get started thank you contest chair you're welcome it was the summer of 2020 did you notice ki jaise hi बहुत सारे स्पीकर्स क्या होता है जैसे ही उनको बुलाया गया वो इमीडिएटली स्टार्ट कर देते हैं बट जो स्लिंग ने एक ब्रेथ लिया शी वॉज साइलेंट फॉर अ सेकेंड एंड देन शी स्टार्ट विद कन्विक्शन एंड दैट आई थिंक वी ऑल शुड दैट शुड डू दैट कि हमें जल्दीबाजी नहीं करना चाहिए अगर आप स्टेज पर जा रहे हैं टेक योर फ्यू सेकेंड एंड देन स्टार्ट लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड Do you see the body language? Do you see ki how she is enjoying and that I think is the best part. When you enjoy your speech, when you are having fun, your audience will also have fun. So let let's proceed. I I love this. For those of you unfamiliar, it is a race that contains three disciplines: swim, bike, run. Swimming, biking, riding, running. Do you see how she is using the body language jahan pe hand gestures ka use karke she is putting a picture in front of you swimming riding running Now almost immediately my inner go getter said yeah let's do this show me you still arts ooh got it But my inner critic slow down hot stuff you hate swimming you barely bike And girl, wait a minute. That swimming thing, you can't do it. Do you uh, see can you understand the humor that she is trying to bring where she shows one side which is very positive and encouraging but immediately other side that we all have. So, and you see she's masterfully using the stage also. One side for all the positive and encouraging one and the other side for all the negative talk, negative self talk that we have. एक वन थिंग आई वुड से दैट वट आई फेल्ट इज आई थिंक दिस माइट बी हर पर्सनैलिटी एंड आई एम नो बडी टू जज बट टू मी इट लुक लिटिल विट ओवर बोर्ड वेन इट कम्स टू स्टेज देर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड थिएट्रिक्स एंड इज समथिंग कॉल्ड पब्लिक स्पीकिंग दिस इज ऑन द बॉर्डर लाइन वेर बोथ ऑफ दीज टू मीट बट लेट सी फॉरवर्ड एंड जस्ट लाइक दैट आई हैड टू वोरिंग साइंस बोथ विथ लॉजिकल एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑन वाई आई शुड और शुड डू इट a decision to make this one yes that one no have you been there i decided to go with my inner go getter i signed up for the race i started jogging i borrowed a bike and yes friends i took swim lessons and after 8 months straight of training every day i was ready it's race day people are lined up along the banks of a lake ready to start the first part the swim they blow the whistle And the race is off. I on the other hand am still at the bank of the lake. This is master storytelling, right? She has set the context, she has set the scene and she's actually making a visualize that if you were there how would you find out her? How do you see her? So this is amazing storytelling setting up the scene, setting up the context. Why? You see friends, my brain could not seem to understand that the water, the dark, dreary cedar water, was the same water that I had learned to swim in at the pool. 
There it was clear. You could see to the bottom, but this, this was darkness. I go to put my face in it. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Again, great use of stage. You see, this was my water where I used to practice. So she went to the right side of audience or left side of her and then she showed in the center this is where the actual triathlon was happening amazing master uses of the stage and you can actually picture it okay this is where she's doing what she's doing i started to panic i look over to my right i see my family they're looking back at me what's wrong i look over to the other side and i can see all the people lined up to see the start of the race they're watching me and behind me are the people coming up for their next wave of the swim i had a choice to make go forward into the water or go back home for where i came a situation can you see the tension can you see the conflict coming up and this is where she will take it to the next level so if you are telling a story think about how can you raise the stakes higher just knowing not just feeling fearful is fine but when you have people watching over you have family and every spectator the con the conflict the stakes are higher the conflict is raised amazing this one yes that one no have you been there i chose to do the only thing any would do in that logical situation i flipped over on my back and started the backstroke now swim this is called comic timing the power of three you can see that you would have expected her to do something else but she did which immediately brought relief to the audience and they were surprised and this is where i think it took to the next level where audience was with her and they were enjoying and having fun let's let's watch more has a certain grace a beauty if you will This had neither grace nor beauty. This was not swimming. This was surviving. I'm knocking into people, bumping into things, over, like things over around, all things going on, all the while hyperventilating. Before I realized, I heard it. Ma'am, you're going the wrong way. All I could think to myself at that time was, I wonder who they're talking to. Ma'am. 322 you're going the wrong way 322 no no i'm 322 i look over i am 50 meters off course now in swim time that's not too bad but for me it was everything i had to stop get myself together and i got back on course now there are lifeguards spread out along the lake in canoes i swim up to one of the canoes the lifeguard she looks over the boat she looks at me and says ma'am You really need to think this through, okay? Look, you can still finish the race. We'll let you finish the bike. We'll let you finish the run, but you might want to think about quitting this. And I understood where she was coming from. There was a lot going on. And my inner critic agreed with her all the more. You're in over your head. Like 12 feet to be exact. <laughs> quitting sounds like a smart move right now. I looked up at her. I let go. I kept on swimming. I went on for another few more meters before I grabbed hold of another canoe. That lifeguard leaned over and she said to me, "You're doing good. Not much further. You got this." Advice. This one, yes. That one, no. Have you been there? Can you see uh she's repeating a few phrases for you to anchor enough. This one, yes. That one, no. have you been there by the end of the speech you will remember her for this particular phrase for sure so master master story crafting and master speech crafting over here i let go i finished the swim i'm staggering up the bank my legs feel like lead my lungs are on fire i'm coughing out water all the while exhausted i get to the bike i fall up on top of the bike one foot in front of the other as i pedal to this day i have no clue how i finished those 12 miles but i got them done when i finished i tossed the bike to the side i have now the run to do at this point my inner critic steps out bold and says you still have a third to do you hate running why are we still here at this point my inner go getter steps out and says we only have a third left to do you train for this yes yes we're still here 
I shimmy shrine, struggled, struggled, stanky legs all the way across to clear that finish line. I had done, but I did it. That race took a lot out of me, but I took more out of it. Whether you have to make a big... And this is where I think she's going towards talking about the message she has relevance for all. Amazing. Let, let's watch that. Decision. Overcome a situation. Take advice or just finish what you started. These are things that can happen and life can have two warring sides. This one, yes. That one, no. And both can come with logical explanations on why you should or shouldn't do it. Do I start a new job? Do I begin chemo? Do I finish chemo? Do I move? Do I start a new family? Whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. It was said by Henry Ford. Because what matters most is what is within you. So, so if you notice, the quote that she's using is not random quote. The quote is very much relevant to her speech, right? To say you can or to say you can't, you are right by Henry Ford, which goes perfectly with this particular speech. And this is an example of how you use quote. If you're using quote by someone, it shouldn't be any random quote. It should be very contextual and to the point, And that would help the audience get the point in their head or make it sticky, as they say. You can be your worst critic. No one knows your weaknesses or your flaws like you do. But at the same time, you can be your biggest cheerleader and no one can push you further or take you higher. I implore you. No, I beg you. Look deep within on that next challenge. Find your inner go-getter and see how far it can push you. I've been there. Have you? Contest chair. You know what? This was definitely a champion speech. Now, as I said earlier, maybe in terms of the body language and theatrics, this was on the borderline. Thoda, thoda sa halka sa jada laga mujhe. But you know what? You got to do what you got to do to win the championship out of more than 40,000 contestants competing every year. So congratulations, Jolene. All the best. And this was my reaction video. So you comment and tell me what you liked in this particular speech, mein Jolene. Ki. And I would love to hear that.